All right, everyone, today I'm going to walk you through how to do a company CSV import. Pretty cool stuff. Just so you know, this is currently only available for LinkedIn Sales Navigator Team Edition. So if you only have Pro, which is a one person license, you are not able to do this. You're going to have to navigate to your lists and then go from lead to account list since this is an account or company import. You're going to go right over here to create account list. And then you have two options, manually add accounts, which is what you've had to do in the past. This is a newer feature when I'm recording this video, upload accounts from CSV. So you're going to select upload accounts from CSV. You will see the progression right here at the top. Let's go through number one here, the requirements. Requirements are number one, it has to be a CSV, max file size of 10 megabytes. The line items, so how many rows can you have in that CSV? It cannot exceed 1,000 line items. The reason why is because when you do the import, every account or company that LinkedIn finds is going to be added to a list, and list max size is 1,000, so 1,000 maximum companies per list, 1,000 on the import is why they have that number there. When you are creating your CSV to import, you are gonna have different columns, and then the headers are optional. So what you what you need to have regardless is you need to have the account or the company name that has to be there. So if you create a CSV and all you know is the company name and that's all you have, that's fine. That's the minimum requirements to do the import. That's totally fine. You can also include the LinkedIn company ID, the LinkedIn company URL. I'll walk through the, what those are here in just a moment. The website URL of the company, the country, city, street, so these are address, and then the stock symbol. Let's go here to continue. This is going to ask us to upload the CSV. Now let me just pull up this file here. Let's do two examples. The company URL, this is the actual, you know, LinkedIn company page URL. Company name, pretty self-explanatory. The company website, explanatory. And then in this example, I'm just using the country US. The LinkedIn company ID, if you are logged in as an admin, you'll be able to see a numerical value for the company. So it might just be linkedin.com slash company slash the number. If for whatever reason you have that number instead of the public URL destination, that's totally fine. That's an option. You do not have to include the headers of your columns. So if we go here to this example here, uh, demo two, we do not have the headers. It's going to work the same either way. If you include the column headers, it's just gonna make mapping it easier. So for this example, let's just do the one that has the column headers. We're going to choose that. And now it's going to ask us, step three, to map the fields. These right here on the left, both sides, are what LinkedIn is saying, this is the information that we can intake. What do you have for us to look for? Account name, again, means company name. So we'll go here. These are the column headers that I have imported. If I did not give my CSV column headers, just the first field would be in there. So it would, if the company name was Zico, instead of saying company name, it would say Zico, Zico.io US. So since we added column headers, we are saying account name, let's match that to say company name. LinkedIn company ID is going to be empty because we do not include that. LinkedIn company URL, we're going to go here, LinkedIn company URL, website URL, website URL, and then we are only doing country, country, and then you optionally can say not in CSV. There we go, not in CSV, and there we go. All those are mapped out. Let's choose continue. We're going to give this import a name. Now remember, when the import is finished, all the companies that LinkedIn finds are going to be added to one list. So we're going to give this list a name, name it according to whatever you're going to be using the list for. So if you're using this list as a prospecting list, maybe you maybe you grabbed a bunch of data points from some other resource and you're importing it into LinkedIn and you want to sell to those companies, just name it accordingly. In this example here, if we want to sell to them, we can call it prospecting list Q1. Or if you wanted to exclude your clients from your sales efforts, you can upload a list of your clients and then name them do not contact and then just circle slash it and you are good to go. You can add a description and once you click finish, you'll see right here, if we're looking in our account list, we just named this do not contact 0% complete, 100% complete. It's really fast since it was a small list. And then once it is done, we are going to view this list and just make sure that there are no errors. If it's a really big list, it might take you a lot of time. It's going to be worth it though, just, just because. So go through here and make sure that there are no 
errors after your import and that is how you do a CSV upload and import into LinkedIn.